fucking tired, yeah. So it's so, up, what you say? Feeling good, I'm feeling great. What did you do, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of tips and tricks that you guys can use to hopefully get some more victories, champion screens, whatever you guys want to talk, call it, on Apex Legends. Now I've been grinding through Apex Legends, I've gotten myself quite a few wins, and these are the tips that I think that could help you the most. Now I'm not going to say that these are going to increase your win rate like exponentially, like you're going to become OP as shit at the game, but I'm not telling you guys that. But what I am telling you guys is that this is hopefully going to make, increase your chances of winnings at least tenfold. But with all that being said, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. And if you guys aren't new to the channel, then this is nothing new to you guys. I always make battle royale videos when it comes to how to get more wins in said battle royale. So with all that being said, let's jump right into it. Now my first thing is this, you're always gonna be playing with a squad. No matter what you're doing, if you're playing Apex Legends, you're playing with a squad. Now you can be doing that with randoms or you can be doing that with your own party of players. But whatever you feel, if you feel like you're you're not the best at gunfights, if you feel that you can't frag out of your mind, if you feel like you can't get kills, your gun uh, skill is not on par with the other players in the game, then you need to be playing Lifeline. Like, I feel like that is the character, like, all characters are important, no matter what. Spe like, I don't think you can win this game without your teammates. Like, you can, obviously, but having a full team, having access to all those abilities, it's absolutely insane. But if you're in a situation where you're not feeling like you're up to winning a lot of gunfights, playing as lifeline making sure they're healthy so they can cut down their heal time in half because late game having like if you take a lot of damage having to pop all of those shield things having to pop all those health things if you guys don't have phoenix kits and things like that or anything like that it's very rough so having a healer on the team is absolutely critical in my opinion especially if you don't feel like you can carry your own weight and you're looking to be carried you know so not to mention not not saying that all lifeline mains are in that i'm just saying that's the most useful class you can use if you're not up to par i've seen some pretty nasty lifeline lifeline mains over the last couple of days so that's just that Next up is paying attention to ammo types. Now this is something that I wanted to actually talk about because I find I found myself doing it a lot early on, which it was, you know, if you have a certain weapon, like there's SMGs with the same ammo type or with different ammo types. There's ARs with different ammo types. There's LMGs with different ammo types. So all these weapons have different ammo types. So it's very easy for you to pick up an SMG and an AR and think, oh, hey, I have two different weapons when in fact they're using the same ammo type. That in turn is gonna burn through your ammo very, very, very quickly. And it will leave you in very shitty situations. Now in Fortnite, I didn't find this as much of a problem. Blackout, not as much of a problem. And PUBG, I found this as a problem. You know, you pick up an AR and then you'll pick up another AR and they have the same ammo type. So uh, I felt like that was, that's where I kind of drew this from. I noticed that I was doing it. I noticed that I didn't have ammo, but it was more like I did not have ammo. I just kept burning through my ammo for picking up the same weapon types. And I found myself being able to win a lot more gunfights in situations where I felt like I was out of ammo based on the fact that I had different weapon types. So I definitely, definitely recommend you guys checking your ammo types and making sure you're not using the same guns so you can keep up your ammo and so you can win more gunfights. Next up, we have keeping an eye out for pyramid drones. I'll be showing you guys a clip in this video, or I think I will, I might not, but basically pyramid drones. They're these drones that are glowing. They're either gonna be glowing purple or yellow. If you run up and smash those, you will be able to get a power up out of it or not necessarily a power up, but you'll get an item of that rarity, whether it be, you know, a purple helmet, whether it be, um, you know, um, uh, I'm thinking of that, the legendary backpack, legendary weapons. You can get some of these items from anywhere. So you need to make sure that you guys are looking out for the purple beacons or the pyramid drones or whatever you guys want to call them. Also guys, big, big, big tip. Now a lot of FPSs on console haven't had this, but I'm seeing it introduced more, especially uh, in Battlefield 5. That was the first place I saw it used on console. And now it's here, changing your FOV. If you go into your settings, you guys can find that there is an FOV changer. This increases your field division, meaning that your screen is going to be a more widespread set. So you can actually, you know, see a more off to your left and right. Now this doesn't sound like such a big change, but it definitely makes a difference when you're in those guns 
on fights where you don't necessarily know where everybody is. You can keep an eye on a lot more of the map. You can be more aware of everything. And I definitely feel like this is one of the biggest things that you could possibly, possibly do to increase your uh, chances of having better games and getting better at the game. Now, the last tip that I have is based on a general play style, and it's something that I think that you should definitely try to incorporate inside of your gameplay, inside of your play style currently, and try it out. Now, don't be afraid of the middle of the circle. Now, most people have been playing Battle Royales for the better part of a year, year and a half maybe, you know. The genre has become booming, it's incredible. A lot of people have been playing them. So therefore, in this situation, guys, a lot of players have noticed that it's easier to stay towards the edge, patrol the edge. Tons of YouTubers have told them that, and I feel like that is not the case anymore. I feel like you will find more gunfights towards the edge of the map based on the fact that people are out there patrolling. You have a better chance of having a lot easier gunfights because if you let two teams, say there's three teams, you're the team in the middle, you have two teams fighting, and they, they fight on the edge. Both of those teams are weak, both of their, those teams are coming into the middle because they need to come towards the middle because that's where the next zone is potentially going to be. They're weak, your gunfight is made a hundred times easier because you did not have to worry about having to fight people at full health. Now I'm not saying that that's the best way, but the idea is to win more games and to have better games. And if those are the easier types of gunfights you want, those are the type of easier gunfights you're gonna find. I've implemented this into my playstyle and I've noticed that I've gotten a drastic change and I have tested this out myself. Now I'm not saying that every game is gonna be like this, but hopefully this does help you guys have better games and Apex Legends. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If any of these tips helped you guys out, make sure that you guys go down into my comment section and hit me with a nice old, you know, thanks bear witness. I'd appreciate that so much. Also, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on all of my future Apex Legends content. With all of that being said, I think I'm out of here. Peace.